Hey y'all, this is Andrew Wild here, um, just demonstrating my setup for uh, Project 3, which is measuring and transmitting propeller speed using an optical tachometer. You can see here I have the IR emitter and detector uh, kind of lined up with each other here using a soldering station, um, and that's all connected to this Arduino, which is going to output, measure, calculate, and output revolutions per minute via a serial terminal. Uh, I have a separate breadboard here with a uh, power supply, 9 volt, 1 amp, uh, and I have it set up to output both 3.3 volts of power and 5 volts of power, and uh, for the sake of time and brevity, I'm just going to use 3.3 volts and then 5 volts and just connect it up to this motor directly, which is a 3 to 6 volt motor, and then we should be able to see the output on the serial terminal. So, without further ado, I will plug in my Arduino here, let's see, and we've got propeller speed, and it's sitting at zero, which makes sense, just to show that the beam detection is working, uh, I'll just show you this, so if I block the light beam, I get one pulse, which equates to 20 RPM, uh, so a little more interesting would be actually running this motor as intended. So I will do so now. All right, you can see here I have it hooked up to 3.3 volts and I'm just going to power on the supply and put it into the IR beam. Just getting in position here. You can see there everything's set up how it should be. Now I'll just power it on. See the motor is spinning and our tech is measuring. And this is pretty on par with what I've seen so far, somewhere between 4,900 and 5,000 RPM when running at 3.3 volts. Turn that off. You can see, oops, I hit my LEDs a little bit. You can see pretty fast decay there. Um, as expected, the motors shuts off pretty quick. Not a lot of load on it. Uh, and we'll switch this over to five volts. And we'll fire this guy up again. You can notice it's obviously spinning a fair bit faster. And we've got more RPM, which makes sense. Uh, this is about par for the course as well. I see anywhere from 7,000 to 7,200 RPM on average here. That looks good, pretty steady. Shut that off and see how quick it decays. And that's it. Thanks for watching.